Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade radical equation. I keep saying homemade because I haven't seen this problem anywhere else and I kind of thought about it. No big deal. Anyways, so we are given square root of x plus a plus the square root of x equals a. a is just a parameter. And we need to find the value of the square root of x plus a minus the square root of x. So look at it this way. We have an equation. We're going to go ahead and solve it for x, right? And then we're going to plug in the value of x in the second equation and find the value of the second expression. So I'll be presenting three methods. And let's start with the most painful one. First method. All right, so here's what I'm going to do for my first method. We write the original problem. And I would like to isolate the square root of x. Square root of x can be written as a minus the square root of x plus a, and then square both sides. That should be straightforward, right? Because we do this with radical equations. You can also square both sides when radicals are on the same side, but that is going to create um, another radical. Well, it doesn't matter. Either way, I guess that could be the fourth method. Anyway, so this is going to be x equals a squared minus 2a square root of x plus a plus that radical squared is going to be x plus a. So we can cancel out some of the terms here. So go ahead and get rid of x, and you'll end up with 0. And I'm going to bring the radical over to the left-hand side, so it becomes positive. And then this gives us a squared plus a on the right-hand side. And we can now go ahead and divide both sides by 2a. Should, I should have used b so I can say 2b. I know some people don't like that because I'm probably overdoing it, but anyways. So from here, we get a squared plus a divided by 2a. Okay, so what does this tell you? Well, from here, we can basically uh, solve for x, right? Well, at least we got the value of x plus, uh, square root of x plus a, but we could also do the following. How about this? Let's forget about this cross multiplication, or I mean, isolating the radical. We don't really need that. Let's square both sides right? Okay, how do we square both sides? So we can just go ahead and square the uh, the left-hand side, but here's what, I'm, what I can do. I just thought about something real quick. I can take out an a here. That's probably going to simplify our work. Now notice that if a equal, is equal to zero, look at the original problem, right? If a is zero, you get square root of x plus square root of x is equal to zero. This just implies x is zero. So for a equals zero, x is zero. Well, in the second equation, if a is 0, then you're going to get 0 again, right? So that's, that's not very helpful. Maybe it is, but I'm just going to um, ignore that option. So suppose a does not equal 0, so I can cancel out the a and square both sides. 4 times x plus a equals a squared plus 2a plus 1. a plus 1 quantity squared. All right, so let's go ahead and you know, just distribute this, 4x plus 4a is equal to a squared plus 2a plus 1, subtract 4a from, bo from both sides, a squared minus 2a plus 1. Uh, this is kind of like a special expression, right, don't you think? So from here, x, we can write it as a minus 1 quantity squared divided by 4. Cool. So that is the x value, but we're not looking for x. We are trying to find the value of square root of x plus a minus the square root of x. But it's easy because we got an expression for x when we can just use it. All right, great. That's x value. What is the square root of x plus a? You don't have to evaluate it. You don't have to reinvent the wheel because we got that right here. Square root of x plus a can be written as a plus 1 over 2, right? This is what we're looking for. Great. So let me go ahead and use it. a plus 1 over 2 minus the square root of a minus 1 squared divided by 4. But that can be simplified. Of course, we need special conditions here. Suppose they're satisfied, and we got the following. Now, this can be easily simplified, right? Don't you think? Just subtract the numerators. a plus 1 minus a plus 1 divided by 2. a cancels out. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Wow, that's interesting. All this work for 1? Oh, come on. Well, sometimes that's what you got to do. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I'm hoping that this is going to be a little shorter. And the third method is going to be the shortest, of course. All right, so we have the following. This time, 
I want to, oops, I forgot to write the original problem. So this is what we're given. And then I wanted to isolate the square root of x plus a this time. And then square both sides like before. Same thing. Get rid of some of the radicals. a squared minus 2a root x plus x. x cancels out. And we get something nice, roughly. 2a root x equals a squared minus a. Again, simplifying the a value. Like write this as a times a minus 1. Suppose a does not equal 0. We already know in that case. 2 root x equals a minus 1. Square root of x is a minus 1 over 2. Now again, we have this value. We do need square root of x plus a. Let's go ahead and find it. From here, x becomes a minus 1 squared over 4. And I do need to find square root of x plus a, which is x is a minus 1 squared over 4. I have to add a to it. This is going to be a squared minus 2a plus 1 over 4 plus 4a over 4. Just add these up. You're going to get 2a. a squared plus 2a plus 1 over 4. And then this is a plus 1 squared over 2 squared. Square root that. You get a plus 1 over 2. Okay. That is the value of square root of x plus a. This is the value of square root of x. We're going to subtract them because we're looking for this. And that is equal to a plus 1 over 2 minus a minus 1 over 2. And as before, it is equal to 1. Why? Because you make a common denominator, a cancels out, and you end up with 1. Same as before, right? All right, great. So one more time, what I did was instead of isolating the square root of x, I isolated square root of x plus a. And I got the same result. Okay, so hopefully the second method is, I don't know if it, if it's shorter, but it's about the same, I think. Let's take a look at the third method, which is actually the, the funnest one, the most funnest. So we are given square root of x plus a plus the square root of x equals a. And we're supposed to find the value of square root of x plus a minus the square root of x. Now, when you first see this problem, you probably thought about what we're doing right now. Oh, come on, this is so easy, obvious. Well, sometimes we miss the obvious, right? So that's why I want to show you alternative methods. And anyways, it's always good to think in different ways. I talk too much. Okay, I'm going to call this um, u. All right, I could also call this b. So basically, we're looking for u, all right? We're looking for u. So these expressions are conjugates. Isn't that beautiful? So let's go ahead and multiply them. When you multiply two conjugates, you get the difference of two squares. Square root of x plus a squared, which is x plus a, minus square root of x squared, which is x, equals a times u, which is au. All right? And then x cancels out. You end up with a equals au. If a is equal to 0, then there's nothing much we can do. Then u is going to be 0. But if a does not equal 0, we got au equals a a times u minus 1 equals 0, or I should probably say if u does not equal 1, right? From here, if a does not equal 0, we get u equals 1, which is what we were looking for. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.